Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to talk about living life. And not just living it, but really, really experiencing it. You know, I have done thousands of readings and each reading is heartfelt and it's always meaningful. But the ones that always take a piece of me is when somebody loses a loved one and I actually can feel their pain. And I truly mean this. I am reminded every day of how precious life is. You know, I've, I've been married for, well, let's see, I've been with him for 32 years, my husband. And, you know, I always knew how much I love him and how much I appreciate him. But it's interesting. When you do these type of stories and you see other people's sadness, it puts everything in such a bigger perspective. When I come home, and he can tell you this, I give him a, a sigh of relief, this hug, I'm glad I'm home, and I look at him and I give him this big kiss and I just hang on to him, and I do, and it's heartfelt because, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, he feels my sadness, and he'll say, you had a rough day, and I said, you have no idea. You know, the other day, I had done a reading on such a lovely, lovely woman, and she lost her husband four years ago, and she stopped living her life, literally, just became very robotic. And she just said, you know, I'm just not happy, Susan. I miss him, and every day I wanna be with him. And I listened to her, I didn't say anything. She wanted to talk, and I let her talk. And through it all, she was telling me different things, and all of a sudden I started to see him and this man was a very dapper man. He was a very well-dressed man. And he was over her next to her chair where she was sitting. And I thought to myself, she would give her life to see him. And here I am seeing him. And he knows the pain that she's experiencing. And she said to me, I don't want to live anymore. I'm not going to lie to you. There's times I just want to commit suicide just so I can be with him. And you know something? I understood it. But at the same time, I said to her, if you do do this, you won't be at the same level that he is in. And I'd hate for you to miss out on that. Your job, as hard as it is, you have to go on and you have to be strong. You have a daughter, you have grandchildren. And one of her grandchildren was going through a tough time when she lost her grandfather. I said, in some strange way, this is your way of leading the family again through this tragedy. So I think that's your purpose right now. And she sat and she, she thought about it and she said, I'll try. And then I never thought about it, but I guess I can't help her. I said, well, lead by example. I always say children are sponges and they, they really watch. They absorb so much more than we think they do. But when I mean live your best life, that old saying, don't take anything for granted. Well, it is true because, you know, I always say this. We make plans and God laughs. It's true because at the end, when we think we're the ones in control, <clears throat> universes in a big way. So, you know, eat, exercise, go to that place you wanted to go, spend time, I'm guilty. I am a workaholic. And sometimes I have been reminded through my clients, through spirit world, you know what? I have a daughter, I have a husband, and I need to take time for them. So I put myself in every day life's equations of what people go through. But I am reminded every single day to really appreciate it in such a deep way. Don't take those things for granted because, you know, so many times people are just living their lives robotically and they're missing out on the moments, whether you suffer from anxiety or you're a perfectionist and you're so busy making everything perfect that you forgot to enjoy those moments. You forgot to be silly. It's okay to have a mess. It's okay if you just want to lounge around. It's okay that you don't look your best today. It's okay. Give yourself the permission to be okay, to not have everything perfect, to take a break, to not work on your paperwork. You'd be surprised what that could give you. So I always thank my clients each and every day 
for helping me put so much more in perspective. You know, I'm often told that I help so many. In truth, you help me in a big way. And the spirit world has taught me so much. And that's why I can relate these messages each and every week to you. So if there's a place you want to go to, if there's someone you want to call, whatever it is, do it. Don't wait. That's my message today. Okay? Until next time, wishing you a really good week. Subscribe to my YouTube. Take care. Much love, Susan. Thank you.